Great. We have our graph. Now we're ready to solve this guy. Tan theta equals one. So I'm going to take my other color. If you've got another color, it would be enormously helpful. <coughs> and I'm going to put a line through at, uh, it's going to be about here. So now that I've put my line through, I can see, again, starting to get the pattern. I have two points of intersection, right? I have this first one over here, and then I have another one a little bit further along, okay? What tool should I use to find that first solution? We used sine inverse for sine. We used cos inverse for cos. Let's use tan inverse for tan, okay? So I'm gonna go theta, equals, and in my calculator, I'm going to go tan inverse of 1, okay? But you may recognize, again, this is an exact value. The angle you should get is 45 degrees, okay? Now, just pause again. We always do this. Does it look about right on your graph? Right? You're expecting something between 0 and 90. See that? Yeah, 45, it looks about right, okay? So, great, I have my first answer. But that's only one of them. How do I get to this next one? Hmm. This one's a bit trickier. 180 plus 45. Okay, now, uh, we use symmetry to get from 60 to 300, right? We've got a different kind of symmetry here. Remember, 10x is periodic. It copies itself every 180 degrees, right? So when I have 45 degrees here, to get over to the next solution, Right? Can you see from here to here, it's 180. So from here to here will also be 180. Right? So I'm going to go further. It is a bit tricky. That's why we're doing this. It's okay. All right? So therefore, if my first answer was 45, coincidentally for this one, it ends up being 180 plus 45, which is 225. And sure enough, if you go to your calculator, you pop in 10 of 225. If your calculator is anything worth its salt, it'll give you back but one. But 270 okay. minus 45. Yes. Now, interestingly enough, I did mention this, and it, it is a coincidence, and I'll show you why in a second. Okay. Um, it does seem like this equals 270 take away 40 degrees. Question mark? Okay. Now, I'm going to say to you that's a coincidence, and here is why. Okay. Let's just quickly try another one. Let's try, for instance, so you put this on there. We don't need to draw a new graph. Let's just try tan theta equals root 3. Let's just try this guy, okay? Now, 1, we know what that is. Root 3 is about 1.7. You can chuck in your calculator and check it out if you like. So therefore, if 1 is here, root 3 is going to be higher, right? It's going to be something like this. There's root 3, okay? You are right with that? So I'm going to go through exactly the same process. Now, if I go up to here, just like for this angle, I can do tan inverse. And that should give me the first solution, right? Why don't you check it out? What are you going to get when you do tan inverse of root 3? What does it hand you? Should hand you 60. In fact, you ought to be able to guess that. Can you see? Look, 45, and it's going to go a little further along. It's got to be bigger than 45, got to be less than 90. 60 is kind of one of those big candidates, right? So my first solution is 60 degrees, okay? Now, when I look for my next solution, hmm, if you guessed that maybe I could try out 270 take away 60, 270 take away 60 would be uh, 210 degrees, right? I, I can test this out. I don't need to guess, right? So if I go to my calculator, if I put in 10 of 60, which is my first solution, it gives me that 1.7 answer. That's root 3. Let's just try 210. Just give it a shot. <coughs> and you get something entirely different. Um, you still get a, um, a surge, just a completely different one. It's not, it's not 1.7 at all. Okay? And the reason why is because... Ooh, running out of colors. Here we go. Here is my 60 degrees. That's how far I've gone to the first angle. Okay? If I wanted to do 270, take away that, right? I'm actually going to go too far. I'm going to blow past my solution. Do you see that? Like if I went 60 degrees this way and 60 degrees this way. Another way of saying it is if you have a look at this shape, 
it's not symmetrical the way this one is. Right? You see how this one is reflectionally similar? So you go in one way, you go out the other. Okay? But here you don't have that kind of shape. In fact, I'm not going forwards and backwards, I'm just going forwards and more forwards. Okay? So instead our solution for this guy will not be 270 take away our first angle. It's going to be 180 plus my first angle, which would be 240. Okay? Which you can try it in your calculator. 10, 240, sure enough, will give you root 3. Okay? 